So WBO orders a rematch for Rafael Espinosa, the current champ, versus Robisi Ramirez, the former champ who lost last year in December in a mean clash, of possible fight of the year last year. And this was a fight that I actually had Rafael Espinosa winning. Then I went into the fight and kind of trained my pick at the last moment, which looking back now was, it was a reason why the fight was that close. Uh, but I should have stuck with Espinosa in that fight. I just knew, I just didn't have enough evidence to back up what I thought. But he was an excellent uh, boxer, like complete boxer when I was looking at everything. From the jab, combinations, everything, man. He's a complete boxer. And he's huge in that weight class. But um, right now, they're trying to make that fight this year ASAP. Rematch. Um, top rank is, this is why they're one of the best. They're making an the in-house fight that a lot of people wouldn't do. A lot of people would not make this in-house fight as a rematch. I'm going to repeat that. A lot of promotional companies, they would not and they do not make rematches with fights like this. They don't. A lot of rematches these other promotional companies uh, do is because a guy that they thought was going to win lost, so they want to do the rematch. Not really knowing that the guy has a chance or something like that. That's not the reason. So when I look at uh this Espinosa and Robisa Ramirez situation, Robisa Ramirez was close to stopping uh Espinosa in this fight. He did a lot of damage uh to Espinosa. Uh Espinosa had a lower extremity uh injury, so that caused a lot of issues. But Robisa Ramirez with his power, his uh you know, his confidence and everything, he's able to strong left hand. He's starting to mix it up a little bit more. He doesn't. He's not as complete a fighter as Espinosa is, but he has an equalizer, and that's what kind of separates him from a lot of guys. But top rank man, they doing they doing an excellent job. They have a lot of uh, rematches they're starting to do, and this kind of uh, solidifies that they're gonna hang in there and put on some good fights this year, some excellent fights, and this is something that a uh, fans been looking for. But other companies, they got to start putting together fights that fans actually want to see. Because I'm going to be honest with you, uh, the Tom Loeffler card, uh, 360 promotions on the UFC uh, Fight Pass recently, that was a good um, fight card. The fight card with, I forgot the other um, uh, fight card that was on. It was like three or four fights on this weekend. But I know the um, Pacheco fight card was actually good too. So a lot of these fight cards don't really have to have big names to be um, impressive, and that's another thing too. It's a lot of it's a lot of fights coming on now to where, yeah, you'll have the big names on, but it's other fights that are a little better and more entertaining on at the same time. So it's becoming a point now to where I'm not really looking for who's a big name now. If I feel like there's other fights that's on that's going to be better. And kind of caters to the style that I like to see, or it doesn't have any kind of agendas in it. I'm gonna end up watching it, and this is one of the fights where I'm gonna end up watching like that. We don't have to hear about the outside negotiations and this and this. They're gonna this fight's gonna happen, and that's what we like to see. And a lot of other fighters who people have been talking about in negotiations for other fights recently. And I'm going to say another thing, too. I've noticed a lot of top-ranked fighters, even though a lot of times the fights don't happen, they've been doing a lot of negotiations with other promotional companies. But on the flip side, I haven't seen a lot of promotional companies doing fights with them, like, openly. Except, like, if you're thinking about uh, Fury or Wilder and stuff like that. But if it's not a fight like that, it's not really any communication between those guys, but um, this should be an excellent fight, man. Espinosa's at a point right now where the weight is going to start getting the issue, becoming the issue. He's going to look to move at 130 soon. Um, this is going to be a tough fight because they're trying to see right now who's going to be in competition for the guy like Inouye. And it could be a weird situation if Espinosa goes out there and defends the belt, and then six or eight months later, he, he ends up dropping the belt. Because he can't make the weight, so. But we're in the present right now. We don't want to think ahead too far. 
But this is an excellent fight, though. I'm glad they ordered that right now. Um, but that's all I got. Like and subscribe.